Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Please like, subscribe, share, ship, share, and comment. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going through some text, notes, comments, and um, also talking to some friends, and they're very intrigued uh, when I talk about love. And um, they always ask me what is love, and I'm like, it's hard to like explain. But I'm watching this show, and I would like to e explain it. So what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Um, love is something that you feel energetically, spiritually. You know it. You'll know it. Now, we are trained to ignore it. We are trained to uh, put walls up and try to fool ourselves to say that's not what it was. So I'm watching this show, and I want to tell a story on what love is to me. And uh, this is how it works for me. Now, love can bring something new to me. But let me tell it. Okay, let me get into the story. So I'm watching this show, and uh, this is my story here. And I hope I don't get in trouble. It's an excellent show. I can't. I don't know if I can save the show because they hear me. They, they hear me. Um, and Poltergeist, isn't that Poltergeist? Hear me? Shoot, I got to watch that again. Anyway, anyways. Um, so here's this girl. Oh, the show, uh, you know, I'm a Star Wars fan, so just put, put it like that, okay? So this is an excellent show. And, um, okay, so here's this girl. She's with her groupies. That's what I'm paying attention to. She's with her groupies. I'm in the spotlight. I'm not trying to be in the spotlight because I got some shit on my mind, right? And she comes right on over and starts talking to me, him. You know, I, put, I say it's me. She comes and starts talking to me. I'm not trying to smooze. I'm not trying to smooze right now. I got a whole bunch of shit going on, right? She probably knows that. Women, you, ladies, you guys are great at the because we don't feel it or see it at first right it's not on our forefront right but you guys feel it i just had a a, a lady tell me um not even a week ago that she smells my pheromones and like that was i gotta say save that story anyways pheromones i'm like i thought that was just with animals what and um okay so i'm not in the mood she continues to talk right it's like she already knows me or knows him right she already knows she just keeps she's not She's she's more attracted by the smart assness. Right. <laughs> so I have to look at this girl and say, who are you? Right. Because I'm tr I'm not giving you no play. Right. But then once I look in her eyes. It's it's there's something about looking into the eyes when you look into the eyes, there's something about it. At this time, I'm. I feel something, but I don't have time, especially when you got your groupies over there watching me. I feel like I'm a spectacle, right? Which I probably am. But we cheers. Like, let me hurry up and get you along your way so you can, you know, you had your fun. But I'm starting to debate, is this fun to her or is she actually serious? Right? That's what's going through my mind. I don't know what's going through his mind, but that's what's going through my mind. Again, today what I'm working on, I must embrace and I'm getting examples. I must embrace when love happens on its timing and make it my timing. OK, so here comes these here comes these ladies, these Jezebels, and uh, and they think it's cute. And which I'm equating it with the girl thinking she thinks it's cute, too. But that's not it. And I'm learning that also. I know birds of a feather flock together, but something could be different on why she's there. And there's always one person. There's always one person who starts to see the connection with two people and they want to ruin that shit because of jealousy or because of tradition. Uh, this is not the culture tradition that we have here. Like, no. OK, run along. You had your fun. This is not going to work within our family. This is not going to work within our country you know what i mean i've been through that plenty of times okay she's kind of sticking around the energy just won't let the energy just won't let her leave right and it's that look it's that look where love happens right there that's love right there and she's only known him now i can get deeper spiritually how long has she known him i don't know physically it's just been 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay. So here comes Jezebel. There's always one, at least one. 
here comes Jezebel to kind of ruin, like, bring you back. Let me bring you back to reality. This is what's going on in your life. This cannot happen. Right. And he must be this. He's got to be that. You know, this is not going to work. Don't let it. Don't let it fool you. This is just uh, this is just dreams. This is just fantasy for you. And then you start to want to incorporate that. But she can't. She can't. And you see her, see, see old Jezebel pulling her away. But then the girl is, is still looking at him, me. OK, and got to pull you away. And this sucks because I didn't come here for this. And I'm looking at you now. You're going to be on my mind um, through the night. When love happens, listen. So what's going on with her? Well, she's manifesting. She's at a turmoil. She's she's at a crossroads here. Do I fo follow culture, family culture, friends culture? Do I follow what everybody and I've already been down that road. I've been down that road and now I'm following my. But let me speak for her. So she's manifesting. Right. She's she's what is going to happen with her. She's going to make everybody else happy, but not herself. She's struggling. Because here it is, I felt something with this man. I may just be in love with him, and I know I don't even know his name, right? Happens to me a couple of times. Happened to me a couple of times. It is very hard to do this by yourself when you want true help from people, but you have to listen to your gut feeling. You must listen to your spirit, okay? Well, I wish you praying, Lord, help me. Help me. Because this is the man I have dreamt about since I was a little girl. Right? Meanwhile, what am I doing? While I'm, uh, or what, you know, what is he doing? He's like, who was that? Like, why does she have to come and mess me up here? But once I leave, she'll I'll, I'll forget her. Okay. So she uh, starts walking and like, I guess I have to go on through life um with culture um oh and by the way you know what i liked about her she didn't ask what horse do you uh, ride or you know uh you know where you work at nothing like that it was just straight up she's heard about him talked about it and then equated to what she feels she equated everything she equated with herself okay so she's walking she's going to go back to family and friends and then manifestation just that fast. Is that him? Is that him? <laughs> so as fate has it, she has to, of course she has to go in there and say something. Which she could be risking everything. And you know, everything to a lot of people these days is image, pride, reputation. But she don't care about that. She felt something with this guy. And now here it is. I, I thought I was flushing you out my system and you show... You pop right on up. And so it's coming back. And does she know that? Probably, of course. Is the women saying yes? <sighs> so there's no playing games now. Uh, that's the look. I'm kind of annoyed, but you I already know you're in a situation, right? And I'm looking at you. Of course you know what's up with me. And so that's how this talk is going. So also, as fate has it, you know, the good comes the bad. Poindexter shows up and, um, you know, you really have to and evaluate, evaluate this because just because he shows up, does that mean, does that mean you have to be there? Do you have to go? This shuts down trusting our feelings. But then when the, everybody's gone, you still have to deal with it yourself. Boy, but it's the look right there. There's nothing I can do. You have to do it for yourself. There's nothing I can do. Uh, you already got all the things that you needed. You have your checklist. It's been all checked off. But you are in a situation. You're in your cultural situation. And there's nothing I can do about that. But you know what's up. So there she goes. And um, yeah, what am I thinking? I'm like, I'm really thinking, why did you show up to me? There's nothing I can do. You know what's up. 
you know? So that's what I'm thinking. And I'm like, you're going to this dude. I mean, obviously you felt something and I see the difference and I'm not trying to take you away from anybody, but there's a spiritual connection. All right. So now I've got myself together and um, I'm leaving. And of course, there you are again with your family, friends, your high uppities. And um, wow, what was that that I felt? Yeah, and everybody's busy, but we have a spiritual conversation. It, it felt like nothing else. See, that's that's what love is to me. It just felt even risking trouble. Even through all the trouble, we're, we're, we're looking at each other and, and, and it's the best feeling in the world as we sit from way across there uh, in our own separate lives looking at each other. And it just feels, even then, it feels good. All right. I'm saying goodbye to you. And boy, will I ever meet somebody like you again? You know, that's what I'm thinking right there. And here she goes in a zone. I don't even know if she's aware that people may be looking at her. Does she care? It's a zone. That spiritual thing, it shuts, it shuts off everything. And, and it's just, just a tunnel vision. And so there's their one little thing that's between them, the little she, she imagines tipping her hat to him. And it was something special. But I have to go through my culture here. Reality hits as I get in the car. And like, what do I do? Cause she already know the answer. If I do this, she already knows what's going to happen. I'm thinking, wow, okay, something's wrong with me because you can't handle, you can't handle being in a life with me. You can't handle that. And but I can't, I can't take my eyes off of you. This was something that I just don't feel every day. So here we go. She sees him rolling off. It's happening. She'll never see him again. And she gets to see somebody that she has no love for, for the rest of her life. But she's got to please her family, her friends. She's got to please the culture. Right. And this isn't a fairy tale. He's not jumping out to kidnap or anything. You have to make this decision on your own on trusting your feelings. <laughs> she. She is. And this just does not happen because we are not uh, congratulated. We are not congratulated. When's the last time you've been con congratulated for trusting your heart? And, and it really. Uh despise other people she don't care about that all she knows i want that feeling i want that feeling for the rest of my life and i i'm still thinking about when i just happened to look down and i see her running so i'm looking at her like is you crazy <laughs> what's wrong I, like what's going on right she looks at me and she's she's not playing. She's not playing tiddly winks with me anymore. She's looking me dead in the eye. And she says, if you do not want me to come in this car, you tell me that right now and I will I will not get in. Now. The flesh is saying, what the fuck are you doing, dude? But the spiritual side of me is like, peace. <laughs> OK, there we have it, ladies and gents. This is what um, true love is um, to me. And it all comes down to the spirit. And people say, well, how do you know it's the spirit? You know, because you talk to somebody and it seems like, man, this is really, this is really moving me here. The spirit is always consistent, not the flesh. The flesh will get uh, tired. So, and the true spirit will come out. And that's, don't be rushed. You just got to be patient. <sighs> don't trust uh, people's intentions. You know, you can use it for notes, but. Trust your spirit. The spirit guides you. It's your spirit that's guiding who you are. All right. Thanks.